With the release of Electronic Arts' new Star Wars Battlefront, there has been a lot of controversy related to the direction of the game. No space battles, no Clone Wars, no TFA content, no instant action, the list goes on. Through EA's official social media outlets, they've explained the reasoning behind their decisions, for the most part. However, one thing that's been hugely discussed is Battlefront's lack of single player content. EA has outright said that the game was intended on being a multiplayer focused game, which is fine. But aren't games like Call of Duty multiplayer focused too? The controversy behind this topic is that games like Call of Duty, Halo, The Division, and even fighting games like Mortal Kombat and Naruto are becoming more multiplayer focused, but still maintain a high level of single player playability. That's what the Solo Players Matters movement is trying to address. In November, shortly after the game's release, I made a thread on the official Battlefront forums asking about the lack of single player content. They were asking players to give feedback on their game, so I used that as an opportunity to voice my opinion. Over 200k views and almost 300 pages of posts and over 500 members on a Facebook group later, DICE has become greatly aware of the request to include their multiplayer modes offline and single player. The most recent news as the time of this video, Community Manager Sledgehammer70 and Battlefront's lead level designer Dennis have confirmed there to be more single player content on the way. Could it be the instant action we've been fighting for for the past 5 months? Originally Solo Players Matter admin Caleb received information from the developer named, we'll call him G-Man, about offline multiplayer. Personally, I think this is what got the ball rolling with this movement because it was the first time a dev was actually communicating with us on the subject. They have not confirmed or denied instant action yet, but we are hoping that they will actually include it in the game. How this will be implemented through free updates or DLC is becoming irrelevant at this point, because players simply want their $60 purchase to be worth it in 3-5 to five years after the online server shut down, although a free update would be ideal. Solo players matter as a call out. If you remember when Mass Effect 3 came out and people were upset because the ending was trash, the community cried out to Bioware and they later released new DLC endings that weren't originally intended to be a part of the game. The outcry proved that devs listen to their fans and have the power to make changes based on demand. G-Man from DICE also admitted that our Solo Players Matter movement was becoming a pressing issue for the company because of how many outlets were reporting on it back in February. Currently, we have a Twitter and Facebook page run by Ethan, Caleb, Matt, John, and myself that we are using to reach out to other players to join the movement. Star Wars HQ is also a part of the movement as well. If EA and DICE see that our request isn't something to just throw under the bus due to its backing support, some sort of change will have to be made. They're listening to us. They've admitted to it. We read as much fan community opinions, mm -hmm. forum threads, reddit threads, social media as we possibly can. Um, we we want to make everyone happy. I want the community to be vocal. I want them to ask for things. I want them to expect things and demand things. This proves that all players matter when it comes to gaming. When we, the consumer, the fan base, the heart and soul of these corporate companies want change, we have to take a stand instead of sitting around and accepting what's given to us. If you want to see more videos like this, please give the video a thumbs up and share around with your friends. Make sure to subscribe to the channel as well. Down below you'll find links to the Solo Players Matter pages. Please check those out and I'll see you guys in the next one.